resin flower sculpture now the reason i'm trying this again and let's see if it's going to work is because um the resin i'm not used to using therefore in this um time of using it now it took me longer for it to start to heat up therefore it put the project behind and i don't know whether it's humidity or not but the reality is the resin has taken a lot longer to cure than what i'm used to so that's the facts i'm going to stop sulking i'm not really sulking but we're going to come back so i've got my two champagne flutes hello sandy welcome back if you have come back before I can only apologise, but this is the joys and the benefits, but also the downside of doing lives, that it is out of your hands when you're working with resins, especially new ones, so we can do it. I, I can do it. I So just to give you some context on what's happened while you've been away, I have tidied up and reset my space, getting that energy back positive i've emptied my bins i've cut around as many shapes as i can to limit the time of us being back here and i've also finished off that mold that i tried using before where it was part filled and just as i was about to fill it up i knocked my resin all over the floor so i've been de-sticking my hands de-sticking my floor de-sticking my utensils <laughs> It's not how I envisage spending my evening with you. But we're going to do this and I'll be able to reveal that pot with you now. So although we're doing resin flower sculptures, they are not going to be actual resin-like flowers. I'm going with beautiful colours, in my opinion, and rotating them and seeing what we get. So that is enough of that. I've got my champagne flutes and we're going to do this. I am going to have to, this is my demon tonight, I am going to have to leave the film on the back of it, which I don't mind because it gives you that nice iridescent look, but there is going to be a slight cut on the edge and I can trim that tomorrow when it is cured and if I don't like it, I can pull it off, but it is not going to pull away from it and it's new resin. Now, it doesn't come off in my finger now, which is where it was doing before, but if I really push my finger in there, it will be tacky. But look at that deep indigo blue with that light baby blue in there. Yeah, third time is a charm, Patricia. <laughs> so I do have some colours behind me. I'm going to randomly rotate them. We're going to have some fun. Sharon, you will have some fun. I also have some sticks nearby so I can make a free form sculpture as well. And we're just going to use the petals and rotate. So I would normally choose the smaller ones. In fact, I'm going to move one of my glasses out of the way because the way my look is going, I'm probably going to break one again. So I'm reaching back here to get my smaller ones. I like the smaller ones on the inside just to help with that feeling of it closing in. Try not to be too worried about where you're sticking them. Cosmic Carol, I knew you'd like that. The light I'm seeing, it looks like a space nebula and it's got beautiful glitter in there. And that iridescent at the back. Hello, welcome back. I'm glad to see most of you are coming back. Thank you. And I am going to rotate these with the iridescent on the background. So it's going to be face down. I've put the paper on here to stop my resin sticking to glass. If you remember last time I did it, I actually broke one of my champagne flutes. Uh, because it's stuck to it but because it's super tacky I get one attempt at pruning it and then I've just got to make do with it and there we go so oh I did it I said it again I put it in slightly like that and then it's going to go to the edge luckily because I put that paper there it's going to stick to that it is going to leave creases in my petal because it's tacky but we know the dramas and why I'm doing that so ignore that and when 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 i've got some resin that i know what i'm working with from a curing time we can come back and do these have a little bit more fun i rotate my petals alternate so i'm going in with the blues and then i'm going to come in with the greens just want to mix it up 
I'm really feeling it. So one attempt to push it in before it's too late. It's not gone as far in as, in as I would have liked it, but this is my break today. So I'm not going to push it too tight, otherwise it will not come out of that glass because it is so bendy and tacky. So I have to not pretend I've got superpowers and press it too much, but it will eventually close in. I'm going with the blues there. Then I'm going to come in with a green. Look at that iridescent film on there. How stunning is that? Can't show one attempt at going it in <laughs> before it sticks. Ah, that's the thing I don't like. There is no time to rearrange it here. So I've got to go quite gentle on the petals. They are very fragile, like petals, one would say. Hello, everyone who's rejoining me. Thank you so much for your patience with me with these lives. <laughs> I take my hat off to artists till death and other artists that continually do lives but don't seem to have any problems. They've got all the equipment, the setup, and yeah, they make it look so easy, don't they? Anyway, we're going to keep rotating these colours. Hello, Funa, welcome back. I'm just so, so happy with how many people that are coming back. Now, I'm just looking behind me to see what other colours I want to rotate through, but I think these two, I'm going to keep mainly these dark blue and the, the, the greeny. I can't even remember the colour now. My brain's gone. But this is where it gets a little bit more complicated because it is so tacky. Let me lift it up a little bit. Because it is so tacky, I really don't have any movement in there to sculpt. It's like stick it in, slap it on and tuck it down. <laughs> I suppose the beauty of this might be it's going to give me some organic movement in those petals. But I want to make sure that there is some bending like this and that's why I've got to watch how I'm doing it and how I'm slapping them down otherwise we're just going to end up with a clump of resin all stuck together and you can see how tacky my board's got from it so that one went that side and I quite like that so I'm going to come this side I think it's thundering outside is it or is that Neil just running his bath yeah, colours, oh, see, it's still tacky. If I really push down, my fingerprint will go in there, which is what I don't want. But because I've got very big petals now, I'm going to really struggle from this point on, from the inside point of view. So when I come around, I'm going gonna, gonna to pretend that these are the really big flowers. <laughs> Tell your little story, whatever makes you feel better, Sharon. And then we can come around and sculpt going to come now with alternating these colors and the idea being if you could push it in a bit better than I'm doing here it oh no that's really stuck there now pull it off Sharon oh, oh. it is like the hardest challenge I've given myself working with a resin that I don't normally work with look at that that's not what you want to happen all right stick it in Sharon come on we can do this forget the middle go for the outside because i think the outside is going to look beautiful and the concept of the blue the concept of the colors i think is going to be stunning so i will revisit it when i get some resin that is better for sculpting and so if you've been having your own problems with this this might be the reason that some resins depending on the viscosity or the work time if you go too early and not necessarily going to respond very well to resin. So my middle, unfortunately, is probably going to have a big gap. But I might be able to, when it's done, um, tuck it, tuck some on the inside and, and re-sculpt. What am I trying to say? Fill its hole, do some cosmetic surgery on it the following day. But at the minute, I just wanted to see these colours. So the resin, I'm just going to get that tackiness off my finger. This particular resin was Vuba Vista Cascade. The resin itself is beautiful. Uh, I've used it on, I used it when I did my bubble painting. So from a, you know, resin, it's actually really nice. But different resin works for different projects. And 
I think it would have been um, the coaty that would have been better. But I'm working with the only resin I've got in the house at the minute. I need to order some more. Uh, but it just goes to show you, you could work on a piece that is fantastic for art, but then you're not going to be manipulating it as much as I'm using here. Uh, and I think that's what we've got to remember. Uh, we artists or creative like to push where it is that we're going to do. Sorry, I'm just cleaning the gunk off my finger. Um, I hate resin on my hands. hate it with a passion. I nearly walked away last tonight. I nearly sort of chucked it all in the bin and um said i'm never going to touch resin again because i got my hands so sticky before <laughs> have you ever got that sticky you want to cry so again luba vistic um is a beautiful resin i've worked with it with my art i've loved working with it with my art there's no issue with the product whatsoever there's just an issue with me one understanding the timing for working on it and two knowing if this was the most appropriate resin for doing a sculpture so I'm just going to come back here. So I'm not going to add too much more. Oh, let me lift this up so you can see it. I'm not going to add too much more here. They're going to be very delicate, but I am going to sculpt those flowers now. I'm going to use my masking tape to just hold it in position. But I'm just going to look for a box that's going to lift it up so you can see what it is I'm doing. Actually, no, if I do that, Sharon. There we go. So at the minute, that's what I'm planning on doing. So I'm going to work from inside out and just prop that up the reason i'm going so delicate with them and not adding more leaves is because it is so tacky that i just can't get in there and sculpt with it i'm basically slapping it on and moving away uh, because i can't get my fingers in there uh, to really do the kind of sculpting i want so i'm just damage dealing i'm trying to give us some kind of end result to reveal I think the most important thing for me is seeing how do these colours work with a flower and, and then coming back and having a go with it when I've got some resin that is better for sculpting, in my opinion. You might not be able to see it here, but down at the bottom there, that leaf's already stuck to another one. So we're already getting into a little bit of trouble when it comes to trying to sculpt this rose or flower whatever you want to call it the color is absolutely stunning and that's why i've got to keep reminding myself that it's not always about the flower it is sometimes about just coming up with a combination of colors that you think is going to work i know that i'm probably going to have to come back and fill the inside in but i can always leave this and come back and add more to it another day I just want to have a look at that delicate flower and, and see where I think. The next one I'm going to try for us is showing you. Now, this one may be tricky as well. Uh, I'm going to put one on a stick and show you how I do it on a stick. I'm going to get some of the colours that's behind. I'm hoping I've left enough paper on it so I can manhandle these. So for this particular type of thing, it's going to work really well because it's going to bond to this stick. Now, I know I should have painted this stick. I've got some green ones. I can't find one, but I can paint over it. But it's just really to show you where it is that I'm going to do. And I'm going to pop it in there and roll it around, pinch it at the bottom, try and keep it free at the top and let the resin fold where it's going to fold. Um... And then just tweak it now. The hardest thing for tweaking is because it is so tacky. The minute I touch it, I'm getting a little bit of resin on your hand, which is not what you want to do. But we're working through our problems this evening. Hello, Dawn. Welcome back, everybody that has come back. The colours definitely are beautiful. I'm glad you all agree. Uh, and thank you for your patience with me while I'm doing this. I'm going to come now and add... A little bit of the um, greens but I'm just behind me going for the smaller ones and then all I do then is try and um, alternate where I'm rolling it and just fold it a little bit be your flowers they can be whatever you want to be almost looks like a little lily there but again you're only going to get one attempt to do it when your resin is so tacky before it's sort of you can't move it that's how it goes and we'll slowly start to build it. 
slowly. Uh, the most important thing is the bottom. Again, just tacking it. I don't think you can see it really there. Now, if this was cured a lot more, this resin, it wouldn't be as tight in the middle. Hello, Anna. Welcome. So I'm going to add a little bit more of the a bigger pink one now. And again, I know that colours are not in this colour, but where I want them to do, they are. All right, so I'm choosing it to overlap on the section there. And it is just bonding so quickly to each other. I'm not really going to get the floaty look that I would normally get. Um, so it's not necessarily going to be a beautiful flower, this one, I'm afraid. But you get the idea of what I'm doing. Sorry, I'm reaching behind me. Yeah, they are almost holographic. It's uh, because you keep that iridescent paper on it. So I'm going to come back the other way now because I've got to try and adapt my style to match how this re resin is responding um, to what I'm doing. But at the same time, I want it to look like the leaves are sort of folding. Almost looks like candy floss, doesn't it? <laughs> With those iridescent colours there. Dawn, I'm very happy you caught me live. I'm sorry it's not going to be the best outcome with the live. I'm working with a resin that I've not worked with before for sculptures. And it is pushing my buttons. I might... Um, have I got any more pink? I don't really have any pink. So I might come through with a little bit more of the aqua colour or turquoise. I'm going to try and rotate it so it's overlapping with the other one. So I'm trying to get my creases to um, yeah, see I'm leaving the iridescent paper on purposely. Um, the only thing I would have done is cut around the edges neater. I just cannot, cannot, cannot get it to happen with my when you're working with resin that is a tacky like this, once it adheres to the other resin, there ain't going back. So I can't sculpt it. So yes, I'm leaving the iridescent on. I'm liking the look of it. And I think it adds... Oh, sorry, I've just got to step away. I got my fingers stuck in it again. Come on. Keep calm, Sharon. You can do this. All right, I'm going to start trying to get some fuller petals now that are looking like they're open and... And dangling down a little bit. You can say they're quite rustic, can't we? <laughs> uh, I'll try some for the other side. See, this is, I think, as good as it's going to get tonight. But you get the idea of the layering it. And I'm going to come a little bit down now. And this is how you have to adapt to your resin, unfortunately. If it's not working with you the other way, you just try and find another way around it that's going to give you some kind of formation that you're going to enjoy. I mean, it's quite pretty. Don't know what kind of flower it looks like, but maybe it's just from a different universe. <laughs> Sorry, behind the scenes again. Just trying to grab stuff. This is why. Don't think. Don't think that is going to add any value to it, but I've committed to it now. <laughs> I've committed to it. It's stuck. Oh, for the love of everything resin. Let's see if I can twist it up. All right, that last bit I really don't like, but I don't believe I'm going to be able to get it off because it is so sticky. So I'm just going to shove it up there and in there and, yeah, give the illusion of another thing. The colours, though, are just stunning on it, that iridescent and those colours together. So if I can get the resin 
right next time I could make a beautiful bunch of iridescent flowers so I'm just gonna find somewhere to stand this in just while it cures hopefully overnight and then we'll be able to reveal what it's like but it is going to bend the minute it's in something let's see if I can oh, I need to find somewhere for it to stand where it's going to be safe bear with me You don't think this through. You just need to prop it up somewhere so it's not going to fall over, but it's going to dry or cure somewhere because it is so, so, so bendy. Um, yeah, all right, that's that one. That's an idea, one with flowers. Don't you worry, though, I will get back on the horse and I will come back and try and create some more purposeful ones where I can actually get my hands in there and move with a design but we're going to come back now so I'll lift you up a little bit higher again I'm going to come back and do some more now I'm just wondering if I should use a slightly wider glass because it is so tacky I don't think I think this might not work in this, but let me try. So I'm just going to get rid of my champagne flute. The reason I like the champagne flute is the size or the width of the hole is very nice when it comes to your sculpting. But because it is so tacky, I really am struggling getting my petal in there and being able to sculpt it before it's adhering to the other one. So I'm just trying to adapt and put my iridescent paper on the edge. Oop. Hello everybody that's coming in, sorry I'm not able to uh, say much at the minute, but hopefully you're okay. So I'm going to come in with these blues again. Oh, they're all stuck together. Watch this, this is going to be a bit of a mess. Oh no, now I'm stuck to my fingers, look. <laughs> oh, it's like melted treacle or rock. So one attempt to get it in. I'm going to bend it over. So similar to where it will be with the flute. It may not work in this cup, but I am not giving up hope. It's going to start tipping over. I can feel it. It's like, oh, whatever obstacle you want to throw my way this evening, carry on, resin gods. You're having a laugh. Having a laugh. All right, that's definitely going to fall over, which is not good. But if I can get my resin on the other side, I'm going to park it to one side. I've got two that's just stuck together slightly. Oh. All right, let's try. Oh, I said it again. I said, all right, she's back. All right, I said it again. <laughs> I have an addiction and it's the word all right. So this is probably going to go terribly in this particular cup. I don't think it's going to give me the desired look, but I'm going to stick with it. And here we go. <laughs> She's back, yeah. I know, Carol, I'm back. All right. <laughs> oh, 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 when I apply any pressure, my cup is... Uh, is like can't, like squashing on me. That's the only word I can use. So I really am not enjoying it in this cup. So I'm going to see if I can transport it into here. So I've got my iridescent paper on there. So it should, in theory, be kind to me. And I'm just going to try and shove it in the hole. <laughs> Do you know what, people? You are seeing real-life dramas in Sharon Lindley, Vivid Day's art studio, which needs to be cleansed, I believe, because there's lots of gremlins in here throwing me so many different obstacles this evening. But I'm going to stick with it. 
I think I owe 10 out of 10 for perseverance. That's what I think tonight and not just crying and stomping my legs up and down and, and just saying, you know, the live is off. <laughs> ah, but I am going with it. I am going with it. I am trying to self-talk myself into a calm place. Poor Paula tried calling me after the last live and I was just stuck to high heavens with resin so I couldn't even speak to her and I apologise Paula I needed to go out in fresh air <laughs> recenter myself that's a big one there now I would normally stick this way 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 further inside I just cannot do oh that's going to be a big leaf isn't it <laughs> Oh, it's a big leaf. We'll just have to pretend it's some kind of weird flower from a different universe. And when I tip it upside down, I'm going to sculpt it. But at the minute, I'm just thinking, just stick it in the hole, Sharon. Just stick it in the hole and be done with it. But what I am going to do is sculpt some of these things now. I'm going to, before they all fold on each other, I'm just going to get my tape to pull them up a little bit because they are so 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 <laughs> fragile they're just falling back so I want to try and keep where possible a little bit of character a little bit of shape but the minute I'm pulling it in it's I need some more paper under there it's sticking bear with me The resin is sticking, so I'm just putting that there. All right, that one's totally drooped. Total facelift there needed. And just slowly curving them. Some of them I've lost the petals already. They've gone into the resin underneath. So they might need some major reconstructive surgery tomorrow. Because it's got the iridescent film left on there, what you will find is that tape will pull off nicely. But with that one, I, I wouldn't mind that if it's got a little curve on there. I've just got to work out how would I get it to stand up with a little curve on there without it drooping too much. And the heat's really not helping it over here. We're having a little bit of a heat wave. Well, I, don't, I won't say it's a heat wave, sorry. It's quite tacky where I am at the minute. So, oh, now it's falling out of the port. Now it's clinging onto there. So I need... A couple more pieces to overhang here. Oh, I do have my hands full myself. I'm just feeling sorry for myself at the minute. Right. Come on, Shazza. If you ever hear myself calling myself Shazza, you know. You no, 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 I'm having a bad day. I hate my word. My name being Shaz. All right. Come on, Sharon. Pick yourself up. You can do this. <laughs> All right, let me have a little look what's going on there. So I've added a few more petals. And I've got my final two I'm just going to stick on there because I don't want to waste them. I mean, the whole thing's going to be wasted. But um, I'm going to stick that one that way. And I'm going to stick that one that way. And then I'm going to turn it over the other way and see what I can work with. They're quite nice with a little pearlescent on it. I quite like that. Um, I'm just going to have to pull them up because they are falling flat. But I want them to have a nice little curve in there. Now, unfortunately, you're not going to get to see this properly until tomorrow, until we reveal it. And I will show you, even if it's going to be a flop, um, because even if what we just take away from this is the colour scheme, <laughs> never give up and understanding that resin does respond differently depending on brands it doesn't mean to say that the bad brands if they don't respond it's just that some resin is better for certain things than others all right i'm just going to pull that one up a little bit there and then what i am going to do is just wrap some tape around my scaffolding because i know with this heat it's more than likely going to want to fall off and I do reuse this tape when I pull it off the ones that can be reused so 
This one, again, looks like it's all done. It's holding its shape, but I'm just going to put it on there and put some more tape around the edge. Just to make sure it doesn't fall off through the night. And God willing, this resin will definitely cure overnight. Now, this was the flower. And we shall see. So... Look at those colours though. It is an iridescent rainbow flower that the colour scheme, if you can get the right resin, is going to make a be beautiful bunch of flowers. So that's just going to rest there now. So there is no more I can do this evening other thing. Thank the Lord I got through it. <laughs> uh, and I'm just going to take you in a little bit to have a little look at those colours again and that iridescent Uh, so you can't really see anything, just a load of crap, but look at that. I don't know if you even can see that colour. It's beautiful. <laughs> oh, oh, so let me let me do a little handover with you before I uh, head off to bed. I think, what can I say? What can I say as a person? Well, please know, people, that even people that you think understand resin, you're always learning. Also, don't give up. See some of these challenges. Although you're in the grip, I, I could have genuinely, genuinely easy burst into tears today <laughs> with this because, I don't know, you're working on it. What Resin costs a lot. You think you know it. Um, you, you say that you're on a learning, but you're like, ah! And I think it's compounded when you're doing a live because obviously you don't want to disappoint people. But I like to show you what's and all that we all have off days. And like after I switched the camera off on the first take, I've dropped things into my artwork that's at the side of me. I've dropped over my resin on the floor. I've run out of stuff that gets stickiness off my things. The good thing is the... Uh, the cells look like they're still okay, but they have changed a little bit. And um, I think the colour schemes, this is beautiful. So I believe in these flowers. I believe in um, this colour scheme. It's going to make a beautiful bunch. So my promise to you all is I'll be back tomorrow and I'll reveal the results to see if this resin has cured. And again, Vuba Vista is a beautiful resin it's not the resin it's just the resin for this sculpture and it's only the first time second time i've used it so i really don't know what um what um, the work time is the curing time how it's responding in temperature it looks like it's quite a thin viscosity and you really need a medium one for sculptures uh, so it's all a learning curve but i just want to say i'm sincerely thank you for um uh, all your support and being here uh so what time tomorrow? I think it's going to be a late one because I'm doing a, a late shift. So I don't think I'll be home until nine o'clock. Uh, so it'll be a late one, I'm afraid. So it might be a 9.30 or 10 o'clock. But it'll be a quick one to show you the reveal of the stuff that we did tonight and just check in and see how you are. If I've got time, I might do a quick jasmineite one uh, just so there is something that we're doing. Uh, but I might also do an alcoholing one. Uh, it just depends. I, I want to give a evening off resin. I did wear my respirator this time, but I'm, I'm, I'm upset with resin. Resin's not my friend today, and I hate being sticky with it. <laughs> and it is called being human. It really is. We are all human. Oh, I am proud. I am proud that you all stuck with me. I'm proud that I endured and I kept going through. <laughs> I'm going to have a drink now, I think a bit of Malibu and Coke, and just breathe uh, and relax. But despite it all, I have really enjoyed it, and I really do enjoy hanging out with you all. And you are such a, a positive, positive bunch of people who keep me sharing my art. And, uh, oh, you're going to make yourself some... Oh, <laughs> thank you all. Uh, it is the gremlins, but it is the reality. You don't always get it right, and you have to keep working with it. Uh, anyway, two more two more days of... Oh, you commend me on my bravery. <laughs> you should do. And you're all trying to educate me by saying, what is the word that I've got to stop saying? 
I can't even remember now. <laughs> anyway, have a wonderful evening. Remember to hit thumbs up if you haven't already. Alrighty, that's the one. <laughs> and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. If you can't make it, watch the rewatch. And yeah, much love. Paula, thank you so much. Thank you, everybody else. And I will see you on the next video for reveal time. Have a lovely evening. Bye-bye. Alrighty now. Bye-bye.